right, good evening. Good evening. There we go. Okay, that, I was worried for a second. Okay, so um, to be honest with you, I haven't done this in a while. I've been uh, trying to... I've been trying to see what I can do with my students and um, see what, you know, what they're capable of as far as writing goes. So um, I'm just going to introduce myself. My name is Ali El Arithi. Um, I'm an educator. I'm a poet. Um, and my, again, my, my writing style has developed in the past couple of years. Um, I started writing all about mental health. I was a huge mental health advocate. Um, and now I write on, you know, the things that I see every single day, which is... You know, my students, my mom, uh, my family, and then, of course, trying to infuse as much of myself um, into my writing. So I just finished this piece. Um, it's called Nahaya. Nahaya means the end or the beginning, depending on how you look at it. And uh, it's also my mom's name. Mom's name is the end, but also the beginning, okay? She's everything, and she's all over the place all at once. So... Um, I'm kind of nervous because also I'm really excited to be presenting our featured poet today. Um, I'm not going to introduce her just yet, but we're going to introduce her eventually. Um, and again, if you um, are interested in performing today, please just say something. Come out, right? Let us know that you're interested in uh, being up here, okay? So again, bear with me. <clears throat> Nahaya. How could I forget Nahaya? She's a refugee kiss, a monument visited often, a constant reminder, her arms blanket like hemisphere. She taught me folklore while bombs played music. Braided ponytails as she drenched in olive oil. She whispered, Yumma. Let me tell you about her eyelashes, though. Her eyelashes are Milky Ways. They caress stars. Kohad. Man, her kohad sharp like pencils piercing parchment spiraled dermis and turquoise. She used to say, when someone moves, and no matter which way, you help them. And if they move away from you, you pray for them. And she used to say, sabr knocks on your door and you can never rush it. And I don't want to forget the terms of endearment. For example, words like bad galbi, which mean more heart. Bad chabdi, which means more liver. And bad sabah galbi, the one I have yet to figure out, could be translated to the flow of my heartbeat. Her knuckles visited hips often, the stance holding back catcalls, intuitional fervor, estrogen essence, her fingers crocheted laughter. She drew all my siblings' eyebrows with lead. She pressures milk into yogurt, creates fortresses out of bahur, chases our nightmares with bahur, made us inhale bahur. Laxatives made from yogurt and turmeric, rat bitten citizenship, Baby pictures dosed in ink ribbon from forgotten typewriters. Built huts from cow dung. Gives birth in motion, squatting umbilical cords buried in schoolyards so we would love to read. Wrapped us against her curvature of spinal cord. And once she used her teeth to rip the snake's hearts out of her body. She's a bastion of extraordinary, a willing involvement, a fountain of forgiving, and always had an answer for a question we never thought about yet until she fell. Her humor became her backbone. She became a silhouette of kisses. Spinal platelets shifting as hospital beds were more frequent than her mattress. Her cheekbones draped against her abaya. Translucent smile filled kerosene cans lighting living room fires while the thermostats froze over. Dehydrated elm, rainforest smoke battling ceiling fans. Last week's homework assignment slowly turns to ashes, cardboard soot, relieved beans from sprouts, and sweetened alwaza tea with nido, ketchup pita sandwiches and prune cans for dinner, decayed breast tissue. Her wrists constantly click like castanets. Her breathing became slower. Her eyes stayed open only for a few minutes in a day, and her eyes always opened when we came back home from school. She always prayed for rainfall. The first cloud dropped rain. The first cloud let those raindrops fall onto her eyelashes. And just like rose petals in autumn, she held on a little longer. Hi. That was Nahaya. Okay. Um, so um, 
in, in the writing process, I think the most incredible part is, is that we're able to um, connect in experiences we never even connected with, right? Um, and this is going to be a really good kind of, you know, segue into introducing our featured poet. So just a few things about her, because she's probably gonna be too nervous to talk about herself, okay? Um, in the best way possible, everybody that knows her describes her as being the most exceptional human being, the most grateful human being, um, the most giving human being, um, and again, it's one of those things where every single day that you're involved with her or you're surrounded by her, um, you just like to love it a little bit more, okay? So without further ado, we're gonna bring our featured poet, Ms. Ghadir Fakhreddin. Can't see well over here, these bright, uh, bright lights. All right, come on, Ghadir. Ghadir. 